This is Brother Rob Wilson. Watch the following clip. My beginning statement is, watch it carefully. This, what you're about to see, needs to stop. We'll talk about it after the clip. It's your boy, Animo Del Rey. Uh, just got a new album, Third Wind, with Jerry Manor, Joey Vantes. Y'all be sure to check that out. Thank y'all so much, Brother Ruslan. Thank you for having me on your channel before. And thank you for, uh, you know, for everything you do, for being reasonable, being reasonable enough, uh, you know, to, to bring me on. Real quick, real quick. So ever since I have become charismatic, like pretty much one of the first steps is, is speaking in tongues before you start pressing into vision and prophecy and things like that. So prophecy, it does actually start as a thought. So then you try, you have to try, you know, you try to do a prophecy, you, you, you start with your imagination and then you're hold like, on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to try, it starts with your imagination. You, it starts with a thought and imagination. You have to, then you have to try to prophesy. But who gave you your thoughts? Well, God gives you your thoughts, but a prophecy in the old Testament was the spirit of the Lord coming upon you. And then people would prophesy the words of God. That's what, that's what it was in the old Testament. Now, now what you're saying is I can teach you to prophesy. And there's people that do, I'm going to teach you, a, we're going to have a prophetic workshop and we're going to sit around and I'm going to say, um, uh, 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 um, Animo, if Jesus was here, what would he have to say to Ruslan right now? And then you tell me what you think Jesus would say. And then you go, see, see, you just prophesied. That's not prophecy. That's not prophecy. You can't teach somebody to prophesy. Look, what did you think? And what I want to emphasize is the need to stop promoting false prophets, stop promoting false doctrine and doctrines of demons. The Bible clearly warns that in the last days, there will be deceiving spirits, those who are led away to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. What fellowship has the light to, with darkness? or those who are of Jesus with the house of Beelzebub, okay? Psalm 1, I'm just going to read Psalm 1. This You can't platform people that you're not in fellowship with, not in spiritual fellowship with, not in brotherhood with, people who do not love Jesus and who are in the spirit of divination, sorcery, and witchcraft. That's what the hypermaniac, hyper charismatic movement is all about. It's about a spirit of divination. Psalm 1 reads like this. Thank you for your word, O God. May we remember that we might be in the world and not of the world, but there is a difference between light and dark, good and evil, and we are to test the spirits, and we are not to have fellowship with the unfruitful deeds of darkness. Amen. Psalm 1 says it like this. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path of sinners or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in due season and their leaves do not wither. In all they do they prosper. The wicked are not so but are like chafe that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. There's a lot of people who believe that they have a stamp of approval on what they're doing because of social media clout and because they've got 100,000 or 900,000 followers in the case of Alan Parr. Ruslan, now he's over 100,000 followers. You're getting validated by man, but you're not getting validated by the spirit. And promoting people, heretical teaching, um, ideological identity politics that you promote and you condone that brings division in the body and puts false judgment on others, okay? Because you want to be cliquish and cool and in the latest fads, it's not pleasing to God. In fact, it is contradictory to the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ makes every man and every woman stand naked before the Lord for the sins that they have committed. God is not going to put you in your so-called identity clique. You're not going to stand before the Lord in that crowd. 
You're going to stand before the Lord alone and give an account for whom you've had fellowship with and for whom you've platformed and promoted. This needs to stop because as soon as you promote it, someone else can be following it. Stop promoting these false prophets like Marcus Rogers and whoever this nonsensical, hyper charismatic diviner. It's divination. It's witchcraft. It's manipulating God to do your will rather than conforming to do his will. Peace and love.